Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the reinforcement of the stair gears. Okay. So let us first see uh, the architectural drawing. Right, so uh, this is our uh, lower basement plan. So from where the Easter gears actually originates, and you see this is a open way Easter gears, and this is your first flight, and there is a landing, and this is your second flight, there is a landing, and this is a third flight, right? And uh, this Easter gears over here leads to the upper basement. You can see here, and we got the same configuration here as well. That we got our open wheel at the middle. Okay, so if we see the detail of the Easter gears from the footing level, then we will see it like this okay so in actual we see the easter gears only here uh, only from here right so you see the steps only you don't see this portion over here okay so you can here you can see that it's region 1050 mm so it means that uh, the easter gears must be uh, you know one meter and 50 mm uh, below the ground level right right so you make uh, this much of excavation and so you just compact the earth so after that what you do you put 150 mm stone soling that is six inches and you put above it 75 mm uh, pcc that is three inches right so after that you place your bars like this right so this is the similar uh, you know reinforcement bars that we have seen in earlier videos right so for the footing uh, for the footing or you know of the raft foundation the lower mist that we have seen so this is similar to that one right so here we see the section of the staircase and uh, you know uh, this staircase you know it is the length or its uh, width goes uh, like this right okay so if we draw it here okay so let me just try to draw a 3d something like 3d for you right so this is how the uh, width of the staircase is spread right and uh, you see this vertical portion and this is similar to the shear wall that we have seen earlier in the videos right and these also uh, you know this wall also spreads over the width of this staircase uh, something like this okay and uh, let me draw its a width so it's like uh, only 150 mm width right so it will look some much more or similar to this one and let me draw this vertical line as well Okay, so it's not accurate it's not very much accurate but uh, this is how it looks okay so this goes up to uh, the footing level up to yeah somewhere here okay so this one also goes like this okay right and we can join this as well so this is how it looks right and this entire structure goes here as well just like that okay so just like this it goes here and there is your landing right so this is how it is okay all right all right so you can imagine the rest of the things right so this is how it uh, you know actually looks at the site right okay so uh, you know about this mess right so this is uh, the, these are the main bars and the, you got your uh, longitudinal or distribution bars right and this is you, these are your main bars the outer bars and inside you got the uh, distribution bars right all right so uh, we'll see the spacing of the bars later and let us first see how the bars actually go okay so let us leave it here and uh, let us see the landing portion okay so the landing uh, the landing portion you know uh, the rests on any you know wall so the here it is a rcc wall but it may be a machinery wall as well or it may be a column or it may be a beam so it depends upon the site conditions okay so here it's a, a rcc wall right all right so you can see uh, the top bar that is spread parallel to the width of the staircase so as it reaches at the end of this landing portion so it goes down and becomes the bottom bar of this waste slab right so uh, this slab is called as the waste slab and this is the landing slab right and the landing slab a bar so that is at the bottom it goes like this and once the landing portion is uh, ends so it begins the top bar right so here at this position it forms like a scissor so uh, the, this part that goes down into the waste slab so it goes all, all the way and becomes the main bar of the shear wall that you can see, right? And here also uh, this bar also form the main bar of this uh, shear wall, right? And we got the distribution bars that are at the bottom of these main bars, okay? 
All right, so uh, the spacing of these distribution bars is uh, 200 mm center to center, and these bars are made of 8 mm diameter bar. And the main bars, they are made up of 12 mm diameter bars, and the spacing is 100 mm center to center, right? So the same goes at here because these, these and these bars are same, right? And thickness of this uh, waist slab is 150 mm, as you can see here, okay? So, okay, all right, so uh, now we got again a one another bar so that is this uh, bar at this position at this scissor position and you should always put this bar at this position and to uh, make uh, the concrete stronger at this position okay okay so the arrangement of this uh, okay so this bar must be 12 mm diameter bar and the spacing must be 200 mm center to center all right so center is 200 mm center to center means so they must be spread throughout this width at a spacing of 200 mm right and if we see the steps over here so you can reinforce within the staircase just like this right okay so we'll see the detail of this over here you can find the detail here okay so the nosing bars that go along the width of the uh, staircase right so they must be 10 mm bar diameter and here you got your uh, binder bars so these these are not the main bar so this is nosing bar and these are the binder bars so you can see the steps right so you got your binding bars like uh this okay so they go into the waist slab right and this is your nosing bar so the bar that is placed at the nosing position okay so this is how the by uh, how the steps are prepared so if you want to do it on rcc right okay so this is your uh, first flight that you can see over here right so uh, i don't think there is uh, left anything to explain here okay so after that what happens is uh, so if you see the second flight here so second flight is much more similar to the first flight okay so we'll see the upper landing so this landing here that we are seeing is the landing at uh, this position all right so uh, the the landing that we got here we this is that this one is the that landing okay uh, you can see uh, the ring for the easter case uh, you know the landing slab goes into the wall and the thickness of this landing slab is 150 mm and uh, and you can see this as similar to the first flight the reinforcement the upper bar that becomes the bottom bar at the uh, waist slab and the top bar uh, and the bottom bar at the landing slab becomes the top bar at the waist slab all right and we got a bar at this position as well okay so uh okay so the top bar goes into this landing slab as our top bar so it doesn't cross here Right, so you, you 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 don't need to cross uh, the bars over here only at this position right and you can see the spacing of these bars as well and there we get the nosing bars that is of the 10 mm diameter bar right and third flight is similar to that of the second flight right so you can see uh, the structural similarity between the second flight and the third flight okay all right so this is one kind of the uh, uh, reinforcement that you see and there is another kind uh, that i will show you here all right Okay, so uh, let me open any, you know, uh, the architectural drawing of this. All right, so I'll show you the ground floor plan. Right, so you can see here, uh, this is a, uh, this is a dog leg, dog leg staircase over here, right? And uh, its detail is given over the here. Okay, so so this is a new staircase that origins from the ground floor. The uh, the other staircase that we talked about is this one right the open rail staircase that we talked about is this and this is our ground floor staircase right so all right so what you can do for the footing of the staircase is that you can do a uh, similar to that one or you got tie beam at this position right so what you can do you can embed bars of these staircase into the tie beam or you can dig up the foundation and do similar as uh, you know talked earlier all right okay so let us see the detail of this staircase okay so the first flight that we see that uh, this flight that we see over here okay so let me just explore it all right so this is the first landing and we'll talk we'll see from here right so because it's uh, uh, easier to see from here so this landing okay so this landing i'm talking here is about this landing all right 
uh, similar to the uh, you know previously talked staircase we got you know we got the top bar and we got the bottom bar right so these two are the main bars and these are the uh, distribution bars right so the main bars the spacing is 12 mm diameter bars 100 mm center to center and the distribution bars they are 175 mm center to center and the bars are of 8 mm okay top bar here you know gets down and goes into the slab waist slab as the bottom bar right the bottom bar here goes into a waist slab as the top bar right the difference here is that in the previous staircase detail you can see that the bottom bar that becomes the top bar at the waist slab goes throughout the waist slab but here you can see uh, the to top bar or the top bar of the waist slab gets terminated over here right so this uh, this variation is due to uh, the difference in the movement that this staircase faces and this and this staircase faces right so as this staircase had you know high movement value and we need high reinforcement values to resist that movement but this staircase doesn't have that high movement okay all right so due to that reason and how the high movement comes it is due to the load okay so this staircase has higher load as compared to this one all right okay so uh all right so uh, the length from here this point the, the where the bars cross each other up to the termination point so this must be equal to the development length okay so if you are using 12 mm diameter and so suppose that uh, the development length is 60 times the diameter of the bar then it must be equal to 12 into 60 mm all right so this length over here okay and the uh, same goes for here as well right so uh, the top bar here goes as the top bar into the waist slab and gets terminated over here and this length from this point up to uh, this point must be equal to the development length right and we know about the nosing bar of these steps okay so this is the difference between uh, the previous staircase and this staircase right and normally the staircase that we see is this kind of staircase right so where the bar gets terminated at this position okay so the second flight uh, that we see is similar to the first flight which is just the exact copy of that flight right and uh, so the only difference that can be in the spacing of these bars all right guys so this is this is how the reinforcement of the staircase is arranged and i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care